Hey Libras, welcome to my channel. I'm doing your May 6th through the 12th love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, we got cards out already. Your first card out was the Six of Swords in Reverse and the Queen of Wands. The Knight of Cups. Outcome for Libras in Love. The Nine of Swords is your outcome card. The bottom of your deck is the Moon, clarified by the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and the Nine of Cups. All right, so I am going to tip you on down here. All right. Oops. All right, Libra. So you are not listening to your intuition here as far as where to move forward from. I'm going to change decks, actually. I am being called to use this one. All right, why is... Libra got the Six of Swords here. The Two of Wands. So you're stuck at a crossroads. You're not sure um, which direction you want to go. You're not sure what path you want to take. So you're not you're not going anywhere. Um, listen to your intuition. Meditate. Pray. However, it is that you uh, connect with Source, because your inner guide, your inner compass, is trying to tell you which path to take and which direction to move in. There is a lot of conflict around a fire sign. Um, this is somebody who, yeah, this is somebody who is very passionate. This person could, uh, like, act before they think, and then it causes a lot of uproar. There's also a lot of people that are um, trying to give their opinions, trying to um, have you do what they want you to do. Um, and it's causing a lot of conflict within your relationship. Uh, yeah, you have the Knight of Cups here in reverse. So not being able to move forward um, and make this love offer, which is really breaking your heart. So for some of you, you're not moving forward, not moving on, because you want to move on with this fire sign. You're wanting to um, ha start a new path with this person. This person could... Uh, could possibly be in a, another relationship, but this is somebody who you're really drawn to, somebody who you have a lot of passion for, somebody who you are um, physically attracted to, mentally, spiritually, emotionally attracted to, but they have a lot of people in their space. They have a lot of uh, like offers. This person also, um, you're having a lot of inner conflict about this person. So somebody, people could be telling you rumors about this person and they're not true. So always be cautious of rumors. But either way, you're not able to move forward and offer this love. And it's really breaking your heart, causing some emotional, um, a lot of emotional heartbreak, a lot of sadness, enough to keep you up at night, stressing over it, um, crying over it, worried about it, uh, not being able to sleep. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of sleepless nights over this heartbreak. Yeah, with the Nine of Cups in reverse. So, a lot of inner conflict here for some of you. Um, there's a lot of stress and anxiety over why aren't they here yet? Why aren't they coming towards me? Why don't they want to be with me? Um, a lot of emotional um, drainage. Like, you're just emotionally drained over all the sleepless nights you've had, over all the tears you've cried. Um, and you're just, you just really want your prayers to be answered. You want this heartache to go away. You want to be able to move forward with this person and leave this all behind. Um, yeah, why is the moon here in reverse? I'm not going to pull from the bottom of the deck. I'm going to go ahead and clarify these just because that's what I feel like doing. Oops. All right. Jeez, Libra, could you be dealing with a fire sign or a Sagittarius? 
So secrets are coming out. There was something hidden. There was something that was done in the dark that's now being illuminated. Um, it's trying to illuminate your path as well, Libra. So um, try to be conscious of uh, where you're being led to. But this, uh, this is bringing to light some things that have truly broken your heart. Uh, needing to have, causing you to need to have healing, self-healing, um, to, to work on yourself and get your emotions back in balance, to find that balance again, to find that peace within yourself, to find that healing. Um, so, so you can be ready to love in the next relationship because this has had a lot of conflict. This has had a lot. You have three nines now on the table. So, you know, you're tired of fighting for this connection. You're tired of um, feeling like you're doing all the work. So after, in light of this moon, in light of this uh, new information coming out about something that was hidden from you, it's time to take, it's, you need to take the time to, to do some self-healing, to focus on yourself, to find your balance, and to be patient with yourself. What is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse for Libra? The Prince of Wands. So, um, you could be finding out with the news of this moon that this person is no longer wanting to work on the home that the two of you have. The, two, the relationship the two of you share and that they are leaving the situation. Um, for some of you, this was a very quick uh, relationship and they left. Um, they're very flighty. They are not wanting to stay and build and create something with you and build a home and nurture a relationship. Um, they could be uh, in and out. It could be very sexual. Um you know, like a one night stand, but they come back every once in a while and it just breaks your heart because they're not staying. They come in, they get what they want and they leave. You could be finding out they have somebody else as well with that moon and the three of swords. Why is the nine of cups here? Ooh. The four of cups. Yeah. Um, so uh, Libras, for some of you, you're drinking a lot. You're over drinking. You're you're self medicating. You're numbing your emotions because it hurts to feel. It hurts to see the three cups that you lost. Another way um, that that I'm seeing this is when you focus on the lesson that this whole experience has given you, and realizing and realize that there is a blessing in all this. That you had to give all this up in order for this amazing thing to come in. Then your prayers are going to be answered. Then your wishes are going to come true. But you can't be you can't be medicating yourself to numb your feelings because then you're not going to see this gift from the universe that they're trying to give to you. They're trying to show you. They're trying to show you that when you give these three up, you're going to get that. And that is going to be the last cup in the nine of cups to gain your ten of cups. So, um... So really pay attention to what the universe is trying to give you and trying to show you. All right. I will pull it from the cross watchers perspective now. I feel a lot of sadness for the Libras here. All right. So let's see what the cross watchers have here in regards to Libra. Why is the Six of Swords here? All right. I'll get them all. Why is the Queen of Wands here for the Cross Watchers? And the Knight of Cups in Reverse. Whoa. Why is the Knight of Cups in Reverse for the Cross Watchers? Way too many again. Thank you. And the Queen of, or the Nine of Swords. It's like four times half the decks try to come out. Why is the Nine of Swords here? All right, I will keep them too. Whoa. All right. 
We'll move those up. All right, bottom of the deck is a Wheel of Fortune for you cross watchers dealing with a Libra. Um, so, um, for you cross watchers, uh, so somebody isn't making the move, somebody isn't following their intuition. Um, that's going to guide them into a new beginning. That's going to guide them into a second uh, chance with somebody. So by ignoring, by ignoring that gut feeling, by ignoring what you know that you should be doing and moving away from this rough situation um, is, is causing this uh, relationship to not have a second chance right now. Um, cross watchers for your Libras. So, your Libra person is having a hard time moving away from something that they're having to get over the heartache of, which is, uh, yeah, which is delaying the, the opportunity for the two of you to come together, uh, with the queen of wands and the eight of pentacles here. So somebody isn't wanting to work on this relationship with, um, this person. This person is very confident um, as being you, the cross watcher, uh, dealing with Libra. Libra is um, not wanting to put in the work at the moment. They're not putting in the work. They have to put in the work to heal. They have to put in the work to uh, to get past this. And, and they're just not. They're ignoring it. They're not wanting to deal with it, not wanting to acknowledge it. Um, even though you're just raring and ready to go, they're not. They're still in this kind of five of cups almost energy. But the love offer is not um, there at the moment. There could be kids involved in their situation. So that's holding them back from, from leaving what is going on. Um, they could be worried about finances um, as well, um, especially if there's children. Your outcome in this situation, you have also been stressing out about this, have also had a lot of sleepless nights. You're waiting for them to be awoke from the divine, to see that you are their true love and that they need to make a choice and move away from the situation. I don't feel they're with that other person. I do feel they are mourning the loss of that other person. And the divine is trying to bring them out of this fog and show them that you are here for them, that, that this is where you're meant to go. But... Right now, they're not seeing it. Not with the judgment in reverse and the ace of swords, the nine of swords. They are focusing on the hurt and the pain that that past relationship has caused. There was a lot of secrets um, between them and somebody else, so there was a lot of there was a delay. There was um, some pause needed in order for them to heal over that heartache. That will come out very soon. They will come out of that very soon. Um, for some of you. Um, Yeah, they decided to, for some of you, they're, they're not wanting to move forward in a, like, stable, they don't want to overthink it, or you don't want to overthink it, I mean, cross watcher, you're just ready to go, you are ready, 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 and you have now the queen of wands twice, so you are very confident in this connection, very sure of yourself, very sure of them, very sure of the two of you together, but they're not so sure. They're still in this confusion. They're still trying to figure things out, maneuver through this past breakup, and um, move out of this place of this emotional baggage or emotional hurt that they're carrying. Um, so they're just kind of choosing to not move in any direction. With the Nine of Cups for you, Cross Watcher, um, it is it has the two of wands um, in reverse. So you know where you're headed. You know where you're going to go. You're going to move in that direction, um, whether they follow or not. You're sure hoping that they follow because you're they, they are who you see in this crystal ball. They're the one that is absent in this card. Um, and you know exactly what direction you want to go. You want to move in their direction. Um, and they're still a little unsure. Either way, whether they follow or not, you're going to have some big wishes coming true um, because you have been leading with your heart, not letting your mind get in the way um, or making you stuck. You're really um, taking 
control of your life and moving forward. They will, um, they will choose you. This is a destined relationship, but they first have to come out of this fog. Um, for some of them, they're waiting on this truth from this other person, um, and this other person is not giving it to them. They are, they are shutting down, not talking, not explaining, not doing anything. Um, and unfortunately, the outcome this week for Libras is still this no sleep, anxiety, stress, crying, um, because they have to get over that, that heartache that they are going through. But just keep being that light for them, cross watchers. Um, be there as a friend, and you will um, most definitely be the one that they come to when it's all said and done. So your card, Libra, is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And your bottom of the deck clarifying that is you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So release that heartache, release that other person, release the pain and the sadness and enjoy the moment fully. And that's going to bring you in um, that romance so just stay optimistic. This isn't the end. This is just a chapter closing. Um, and there is something much better coming in your direction, Libra. So don't hold on to something that is trying to um, move away because that only means that something better is moving in for you guys. So, all right, Libras, I hope you have a beautiful week. I'll see you next time. God bless.